whatever embryos we have made out of the IVF process, we will be transferring back into the uterus for the implantation as well as the further growth. So someone, it's better to drive you to the particular clinic and you can come back to the clinic with a relaxed environment to know about the embryo quality as well as the number of embryos that is going to be transferred. All this will take place when you are awake as well as under ultrasound guidance. Happy afternoon, I am Dr. Rukyal Fatima, Director as well as the Clinician at the High Fertility Clinic, Chetpet. So today I am going to discuss to you about the events that will take place on the day of embryo transfer and how you should take care of yourself post embryo transfer. Embryo transfer means whatever embryos we have made out of the IVF process, we will be transferring back into the uterus for the implantation as well as the further growth. An embryo can be either a day 3 as well as a day 5 embryo depending upon the lab which is doing it or also based on the quality of embryos whether we might grow up to day 3 or in some cases we might grow up to day 5. So these are the two situations. So how do you come to the hospital on the day of embryo transfer? Preferably I will ask you to accompany someone along with you because I know that it will be a big delay for you and you will be extremely tensed about the process. So someone it's better to drive you to the particular clinic and you can come back to the clinic with a relaxed environment. Better not to drive yourself and come and take all the prescribed medicines as well as the injections which are told to you on the particular day. Usually an embryo transfer is done in a full bladder that is you have to drink adequate water and stop using the restroom 1 to 2 hours before the process. So once you report to your particular unit uh, you stop drinking the uh, you stop going to the restroom so that your bladder will be full and it will be easier for the clinician to do the embryo transfer under the ultrasound guidance. So also be aware about the number of embryos that will be transferred on the particular day. Discuss with the embryologist as well as the clinician to know about the embryo quality as well as the number of embryos that is going to be transferred. So for the process you will be shifted to the uh, theatre, uh, preferably an IVF theatre and a position will be put. A preferable lithotomy position will be put and it is a procedure which is done under awakening situation. No anesthesia is usually administered unless we had had some difficulty in the previous mock trial. So you will be generally awake during the time of procedure. So a gentle speculum is inserted inside the cervix and the cervix is cleaned gently using a small gauze as well as a medium. An embryo transfer catheter will be introduced into the cervix under ultrasound guidance. Once it is in position, the embryologist will be loading the embryos and it will be bringing to the position and the clinician will gently inject the embryos inside the uterus. All this will take place when you are awake as well as under ultrasound guidance and you will be able to witness the procedure. It is a very painless procedure which would hardly take around 5 to 10 minutes maximum. So once the procedure is over, uh, if your bladder is really full and if you really want to get up immediately and go, yes, it could be as, uh, it could be told yes. But some of them do want to take some time, rest and go. In that situation, if you are able to hold your bladder for another half an hour, that will be well and good. If not, in that situation, we use a catheter and empty the bladder based on the patient's preference. And after about half an hour, the patient can just walk into her room. There is no need that uh, some of them are really scared. Do my embryo really fall down after doing the IVF procedure, doctor? No. Uterus is not like a hollow organ. So it will, once the embryos are put, they will get started to implant and attach and grow off. So there is no way your embryo is going to fall down. Anyway, if you are very apprehensive and panicked about getting up and going, you can request your staff nurse to use a wheelchair and get shifted yourself to the bed. And after the embryo transfer procedure, you are advised to stay there for another couple of hours or three hours and then you can drive home safely. If you feel your home is little distant, far away for more than a uh, uh, few kilometers, in that case you can request your clinician to stay there overnight and then go back. But it is purely the discretion of the patients 
generally we do not advise the patients to stay back completely in the particular unit and studies have also proved the same the medicines the injections the timing of the medicines as well as the date of your urine pregnancy test or beta hcg has to be noted and then you take you check yourself whether all the medicines have been given and then you can travel back home leisurely if there is injections then you just see whether they could be self administered or you should appoint some staff nurse to come to your house to take the particular injections on reaching your house you can use your routine uh, restroom in a usual way we will not advise a complete bed rest we will ask the patients to do their routine activities with restrictions that is we will avoid them to stand in flame for a long time stand in near items which have a lot of vibration such as a mixer grinder Uh, avoid lifting heavy weights climbing up and down the stairs for quite some time all these are avoided we will preferably ask them to lie down on the right or left side position do their routine work at home and stay relaxed better you can take your medicines on time as well as the make sure you insert the veg if there are some vaginal use tablet make sure you are inserting the same at proper time also regarding your food there is no much restriction but i will personally avoid ask you to avoid a lot of food which is has a lot of spiciness lot of sugar intake take lots of water that's the best thing you can do lot of vegetables are very good some vegetables are prone to increase the blood supply like beetroot tomato white pumpkin the avocado fruit as well as the double beans also has a lot of antioxidants all these also can be taken there is a lot of debate over taking of non vegetarian Yes of course you can take in a proper amount in small quantities which are not deep fried because sometimes you are taking a lot of medicines and that could cause a lot of gastritis so i will ask you to avoid in a proper method of preparation of your non vegetarian items and personally i will prefer you to avoid seafood especially fish which is bigger ones because studies have proven that they are have a lot of mercury content and that might not be good in your early pregnancies many of them are even scared to take baths doctor whether i can take hot bath see you can take bath in a nominal uh, warmness of water avoid pouring hot water you can drink hot water but avoid really hot water baths that could be done and uh, some of them are like can i drive two wheeler and go see it's not a big issue but generally i will ask you to restrict your physical activity so if you want to go somewhere outside you can use a car or you can you, you can you can be a pillion rider better to avoid two wheelers because many a times will attribute the negative to the physical activity so it is better to stay at home and do your routine uh, ones and have a lot of positive thoughts one important thing post embryo transfer is lot of questions will be coming in our mind what what are the symptoms coming whether i am getting a proper symptom Do, uh, will my embryo get implanted i will tell you just stay positive we do 60 to 70% of the work in the lab and then we transfer rest 30 to 40% do lies with the uh, almighty so just pray well stay relaxed and be in a positive thought and on the day of your pregnancy test you just really pray well and stay calm and check one thing you have to understand is ivf pregnancies do give a success of around only 60 to 70% in the first time uh, many a times you might require a second embryo transfer so please don't be panic about it and get depressed about it um, so definitely all of them do have a chance to get pregnant and somewhere it is on your way only thank you happy motherhood